Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and how cells maintain homeostasis. On a hot summer day, we all begin to sweat. On a very cold day, we will shiver. This happens because your body is trying to maintain an internal temperature of around 98 degrees Fahrenheit. This is one example of homeostasis. Homeostasis is a set of internal conditions maintained by living things despite a changing environment. Homeostasis allows organisms to function best. All cells must maintain homeostasis to stay alive. Homeostasis is important for cells because it allows them to stay in balance. If cells are out of balance, they will not be able to carry out the chemical reactions they need to survive. For example, in homeostasis, an equal amount of water flows into the cell and out of the cell. The cell maintains its shape and has enough water to carry out chemical reactions. However, if the environment has more water than the cell, the cell will be out of homeostasis. Water will rush into the cell, and with animal cells, they can even burst from this. Homeostasis is also important for concentrations of salt and sugar, as well as pH, that need to be kept in balance. The main organelle responsible for maintaining homeostasis in cells is the cell membrane. The cell membrane plays an important role in homeostasis by regulating the movement of materials into and out of the cell. The structure of the cell membrane allows certain materials to pass in and out of the cell. Osmosis is the process of water moving from a high concentration of water to a low concentration of water. This helps the cell maintain correct amounts of water inside the cell. This is an example of passive transport. In addition, the cell membrane also contains proteins that act like pumps or channels which help move large or charged molecules across the membrane. This requires energy and are examples of active transport the cell uses to maintain homeostasis. The cell membrane also ensures optimal levels of ions. The cell does this by controlling the flow of ions into and out of the cell. For example, the cell maintains high concentrations of potassium ions inside the cell and a high concentration of sodium ions outside the cell. To maintain this concentration, the cell uses active transport, which requires energy, to pump sodium ions and potassium ions into and out of the cell. So just like you, having to sweat on a hot day to maintain your correct internal temperature, cells need to move objects in and out of the cell to help maintain optimal internal conditions to stay alive. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.